If you want to create videos just like this one, then check out Pixverse AI. These videos are made using Pixverse AI. It's a powerful online video platform with text to video or even image to video capability. And I'm going to show you how that works. So Pixverse are sponsoring this video and there's a link in the description if you want to get started. But it's quite simple. When you head to their website, you can click get started in web and you can sign up or log in using any of these services. When you first log in, you get this community feed, so you can start checking out what people are making. But if you want to get started straight away, head up the top right to create and click that button. And if you want to get started, it's pretty easy. I can click here to type in a simple prompt. So for my prompt, I have a race car driving up a road, flames coming out. We're going to skip over some of these sections here, and we're just going to run with, we want it to be realistic. And I want the aspect ratio to be 16 to 9, which is kind of like your typical TV aspect ratio. And I click create. So you can now see our video has been made. And if I hover over it, it'll actually play the video. And then if I decide to click on that video, I have some options. I can upscale it. I can download it and sort of keep it on my computer from there. Now, while we're here, I am going to upscale this and just see what the final result is like. So this is our original video. It is 1024 by 576 pixels. However, when you upscale it, 4X is it to 4096 by 2304 pixels, a pretty big jump. Now back to our video creator. You notice here we have text and image. There's image creator. So basically we can add an image and a prompt to create a video from there. But for now, we're gonna stick with text and I'm gonna enter a brand new prompt to see what we can make happen. I have a powerful warrior man walking through the city. Now to touch on some of these settings as well, we have a negative prompt. If I don't want the man to have a mustache, I'll just type in a mustache and that will help to make sure that a mustache isn't rendered on this man. Now there's also a setting here the, called inspiring prompt to dual clips. It basically analyzes your prompt and tries to improve the image. But for now, we're gonna leave that off and come back to it. So I'm gonna stick with our 16 to nine ratio the seed here is pretty much just a starting number. If I was to run this job twice with the same seed and the same settings, you'd get the same result. So you can change that seed if you want to. But we're gonna run a realistic creation and create. But we can also stack these up. We're gonna go to anime, create, and 3D animation and create. And we can see them stacked here and generating. Now these take a minute or two for per video, so we'll come back and see what the final results are in a moment. And now our videos are ready. We have our realistic video here, which turned out pretty well. Our anime video, which is more of that anime style, and our 3D animation. Notice how I negative prompted the mustache and it kind of disappears either side of his mouth. He actually has a beard and then it disappears. So he doesn't really have that mustache there. So that's pretty interesting. Now, what if we were to go back to realistic and turn on inspiring prompt to dual clips? Let's activate that to see if it'll improve our prompt and settings to see what video we get and hit create. So now we have our two more videos and I click on this first one. We've got a guy moving through the street and then we've got another one, that guy walking through the street. So those are some pretty cool results. However, what if we want to actually work with an image? I'm going to now come up here and go to image to video. And we're going to add in an image. We can click to upload a file. I'm going to stick with this cat in a spacesuit. Now this image was made using Midjourney, but I'm going to type in. I have a cat in a spacesuit traveling through space. Now I have strength of motion, so I can turn that up or down plus HD quality mode. So it produces clearer and more precise videos. So I'm gonna leave the strength of motion just at 0.55 and hit create. And then I'm also gonna turn on high quality mode and create again to see what results we get when we do those options. So now we have our two cat in a spacesuit videos here. So you can see this one here is moving around and we also have the high quality one here on the left. If I click on this first one, we take a closer look and see that space is moving around him. He is looking around and it's a pretty, pretty cool effect overall. I come back to our HD, get a similar effect, but definitely a sharper image. But I'm also gonna upscale this one as well, to see how that turned out. Now this HD video upscaled looks pretty crisp. There's a ton of detail. Overall, the effect is really good. Now if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see more of those details and it has really fixed some of the some of the funnier things that might have been happening. So 
a really good stack of HD and upscaling can get you some really awesome results. Now coming back to our generator page, we want to play with the strength of motion a little bit to see what results we get. We're going to leave this off so that we get some faster generation. So I'm going to turn the motion down from 0.55 to about 0.32 and hit create. I'm also going to bring it up to about 0.78 and create. As usually with these video generators, if you go too high, you can get some undesirable results. So we're just going to see what kind of results we get with those two different settings. So we've got our two images and we click on the first one with our lower strength of motion, which is 0.32, and the cat's moving a little bit. So you can sort of see that it's nice and subtle. We come back to our higher motion of 7.8 and it's actually zooming in on the cat and doing a little bit more. But why don't we go in and just crank that up to full? And now we can see it's moving around a bit more. Strength of motion is at full. And he's sort of moving off to the side a bit. It's all still very subtle. But the eyes are moving a little bit and the background seems to be warping a little bit more than before. And overall, it's just done more with it. Before I go ahead any further with this, you can see as I've been referencing the settings here on the right and the prompt, you have some other settings here. You can actually rate this or even hard it if you want to add it to your video collection. You can go and create some more or even retry. And I want to touch on this for just a moment. If I go back again and head out to my videos, you can see all the videos I've created. If I wanted to take this video, the anime man walking, and I wanted to try it, see if I can get something different, I could hit retry. And it will start to generate that as well. Now you see here are two completely different videos. The original here, which I upscaled, and it's just so it's nice and conveniently next to this one. And they're two different videos, just from hitting retry. But those that options panel is useful not only for your own videos, but also I recommend going into popular videos. And you can scroll through here and get ideas. Any of these videos that work really well, you can see which ones have been upscaled because they have a little upscaled button sitting over the top. So you can see here, this one has been upscaled. But if I want to say try something like I've seen in one of these videos, such as this one here, I can click on it. I can see that it is an image prompt. Someone's uploaded this image and I can see the seed they've used and all those settings there. But even if I want to try something else like this fast red car here, I can bring that up and I can actually upscale this if I want to. So I click upscale and I can upscale someone else's video if I want it in high definition. I go back to popular videos, back to this, this fast red car. I can see the prompt, the seed. I can see all the settings. I can literally copy the seed if I want to and recreate it myself, although it's here, so I wouldn't need to. But I can also click on go create and it's put the fast red car here in my prompt. And there's also an image attached as well. So I can go ahead and use that to create more videos based on the videos in the popular videos section. Now this is a great idea for finding information like or finding prompts that you think could be pretty effective. So this one here, for instance, if I click on this, I can rate it, I can give it a little love heart to like it. And if I decide I want to go through, I can find some footage that I like. So this bird, this cat, this soldier, or scavenger or whatever he is, come up to my collection. And now those favorited videos are in there, including some I've favorited previously. So you can create collections based on what you see and you include your own videos in this as well. And you can actually learn other ways and uh, what other people are doing to get such good videos. And I'm gonna go back to my videos and now you can see that video has been created and it looks pretty sharp. I can download that. I can rate it, I can do what I want with it there. And with any of the videos I've created, I can click on that. And of course I can download this and do what I want with it. I can retry it, although this is an upscale. So I do need to go back to the original to retry from there. So you can see here, you got, it's a very simple, easy to use interface, but it's also very powerful. The fact that the videos are so high resolution, usually about 4,000 pixels after you've upscaled them, it's actually really impressive. So check out Pixverse. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing with this. I haven't given them any money. I've literally just rocked up on their website, signed up. At the moment, it is currently free. So check out link in the description below. Otherwise, um, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And thank you to Pixverse for sponsoring this video. Have a great day, guys, and I hope to see you again soon.